and gentlemen, this bout will be six rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is wearing the black trunks, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 235.6 pounds, holding a professional record of five wins, six losses, two draws. He hails from San Fernando Valley. Introducing Josue Vargas. <laughs> And his opponent across the ring, out of the red corner. He is wearing the black trunks trimmed in red, standing six feet, five inches tall, weighing in at an even 260 pounds. Holding a professional record of 18 victories, four defeats, one draw, 16 of those victories coming by way of knockout. From Roland Heights, California, Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander the Great Flores. <laughs> Referee in charge, Hall of Famer Jerry Cantu. Of Alexander Flores says, no way, Josue. So he's fighting Josue Vargas. I've watched Josue spar for years. Very, very talented, very durable. Takes a good punch. Tough kid. And like I said, a very nice person. Alexander is a very big puncher out of his 18 wins, 16 by knockout. So they're not wasting any time. They're learning hands go right off the bat. And they're getting cracking right away. The ref breaks up the action. A big combo from Alex Torres. The host way takes it, keeps coming. Jose Vargas letting his hands go, trying to find some rhythm, but he keeps coming. I told you guys he's an energizer bunny in the heavyweight division, but hasn't landed anything to make um, Torres think about changing anything or backing off or going back. So round one coming to a close, an exciting round. And like I said, heavyweight division, all it takes is one punch to end the fight. So at least we're, we got more than one round in this fight. Coming up round two. At a perfect angle. So here comes round two. From Vargas, Vargas definitely starting this round strong. There's a combo, another punch. They're exchanging now. Torres just landed. There's another big right hand, there's a left. Alexander Torres. It's a good round for Flores. And round two comes to an end. They'll have to definitely look at that eye. It's starting to bother him. He just put in another more punches from Alexander Torres. But I told you guys before, Jose Vargas, very tough kid, takes a good punch, very durable and fights his heart out. And that's what you want from fighters. You want fighters to leave it all in the ring, and that's what those big artists does. So we're gonna have the doctor look at the eye right now. And here comes round three, guys. So I have Flores up 2-0, but Jose Vargas is trying. He's trying everything he could do. He just... Both fighters from Los Angeles, both Mexican-American doing their thing. Yes. 
Three over there. Alexander Torres, 16 knockouts out of 18 wins. And he's trying everything, hitting downstairs, upstairs. <laughs> Jose Vargas may be in trouble over here. He's hanging in there. He's gonna try his hardest. He's getting peppered with a lot of shots. I don't know if the referee's gonna think about stopping this fight any second now. He's also cut. Alexander Torres trying to get that big finish, the big knockout. Jose Vargas is a very, very tough kid. And the referee's about to jump in, and that is it. He just stopped the fight. The fans are not liking it. They wanted to see a knockout, but that's the right thing to do. He won the first two rounds. He was dominating this round. And he was landing a lot of big heavyweight punches. You don't want to see anyone not be able to leave the ring or take too much punishment. A big congratulations to Alex Flores. Did what he had to do in respect to Jose, Jose Vargas. This, he has the biggest heart in boxing. Those are big punches for every division. Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jerry Cantu calls a stop to the contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of the third round for your winner by knockout, Alexander the Great Flores. He got his 19th win and his 17th knockout. And uh, as I mentioned, we have now coming up four round fight, young prospects. Diego Dominguez, a very bright fighter with a great amateur background.